Here we go. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Boston if you're new here and if you are new here, welcome. How are you doing? And if you are returning, welcome. How are you doing? Today, you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, it's another book haul. We have a lot of books to talk about today. I have been depressed <laughs> and Amazon has been my best friend. Uh, no longer. I canceled my Prime membership because I need to get myself in check, so we're using Barnes & Noble now. But we got a lot of books to talk about. It was also my birthday recently. Yeah, woohoo. I am 21. I can drink even though I don't like drinking, so that's fun. Anyway, uh, I've got some books that I kind of bought myself for my birthday that I spent the money... My dad gave me money for my birthday and I spent that on a bunch of books. And so I'm kind of considering it a gift <laughs> from my dad in a way. So I've got those. I've got gifts that I have been sent from other people. And then I've got books that I paid for with, with my hard-earned government money. And uh, not all of it, though, I will say. Uh, I'm saving for a house, so not all of it. But yeah, we've got a lot of books to talk about today, so I don't want to dilly-dally. And so without any further ado, let's jump into it. We're going to start with the gift gifts that I've been sent. So the first one I will mention is Livingston Girls by Brianna Morgan. I cannot remember for the life of me who sent this. I will throw up their Twitter name though right here if I can remember <laughs> to do that. I was sent, I was gifted um, an... an what's the word, ebook, <laughs> a copy of this. So I'm very excited to read it. So thank you so much to them for sending it to me. I'm so excited to read it. I cannot wait. But that is basically, all I know about it is queer witches. So I'm here for it and I love it. But that's all I know about it. So we won't go into any more detail. Next up, we've got three books because Tori from Medusa Reads cannot handle herself. And she sent me The Lost World, which is the second book in the Jurassic Park series and she also sent me The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow and she also sent me <laughs> Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik so like I said she sent me these three we are actually birthday buddies so we have the same birthday and I sent her something and she, she sent me something and they actually ended up arriving on the same day, which is pretty funny. But yeah, thank you so much to Tori for sending these to me. I'm so excited to read them. Like I said, this is the second book in the Jurassic Park series. I feel like a decent amount of people know what Jurassic Park is about. Dinosaurs, if you don't know. Dinosaurs. Um, the Sound of Stars, this one is, can't quite remember, but I think it's queer. I think the main character is Ace. Don't quote me on that, but it has to do with like music and it's like a sci-fi kind of thing. I'm really excited to read it. I've heard it's pretty good, so I can't wait. And then Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. This is a... is this with the Rumpelstiltskin retelling? I can never remember, but I did read this a while back for... I can't remember what readathon it was. I think it was... was it a book club? Ra I know that Rachel Marie was doing it. It was either book club or readathon, I can't remember, but I read it then and I kind of zoned out during it because it was one of my first attempts at adult fantasy and <laughs> I don't quite remember exactly what happened, but the love interest reminds me of the love interest in the, what is it called? Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. So I really wanted to give this a reread because I feel like I'd like it a lot more now. But yeah, it's also a floppy paperback, so I know I'm going to love it. The second, fourth book, I guess, that I have is Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand. This was sent to me by Katrina Trina from, I cannot quite remember her channel name. She hasn't, I think she actually just, up, she just filmed a video, which I'm excited for. But um, she hasn't uh, put up a video in a while because she is a new mother, so we, we can forgive her for that. But she sent me this, and... It wasn't necessarily for my birthday, but I figured I'd include it anyway because she is an absolute gem and I love her and 
I'm so excited to reread this because this was just so atmospheric and fun and I loved the little I loved the story and the atmosphere and it was a lot of fun so this is a story about a bunch of girls who are disappearing on this island and the main characters have to figure out what's going on naturally it's very spooky very eerie and the atmosphere is mm, wonderful I love it and I'm so excited to have a copy now so thank you again to Trina for sending that to me and finally another absolute sweetheart we have Between Burning Worlds uh, this is by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell. This was sent to me by Mayana from Mayana, Mayana Reads. Is that still her channel name? Mayo Reads? I don't know. This was sent to me by Mayana, uh, and this is the sequel to Sky Without Stars, and I am so excited. Sky Without Stars is a retelling of Les Mis in space. Very sci-fi, very fun. I loved it. I flew through it. I'm so excited to get into this one. It's a thick boy. It's a thick boy, and I am very excited so thank you Mayana I love you so yeah thank you so much to those who sent me something it's a very kind of you I obviously never expect anything and I it's crazy that people send me stuff and want to spend their money on books for me um it's weird but I appreciate it anyway next I'm gonna talk about the books that I bought with the money my dad gave me for my birthday. So I basically got, I got seven books. The first book I got was The Empress of Zaite by Effie Calvin. This is the fourth book in the Tales of Anthea series, which I absolutely love. This is an adult fantasy series that follows a bunch of different characters and they are all queer and I love that and it's all just so much fun the world building is fantastic and you really get a sense for the characters and the world and everything and there's just so many good like discussions in the books it's fantastic I recommend them all the time but like I said this is the fourth book I did read an archivist which I really liked it of course no surprise there so I had to get myself a copy while it was still on sale on Amazon so here it is. <laughs> Next up, please forgive me if I butcher the, the title of this book because I've never had to pronounce this word before. So we'll work on it. Next I have The House in the Cerulean Sea. I don't even know if I'm right. Uh, this is by TJ Klune. This I don't really know anything about except that I think it was Lexi on Twitter who was talking about how atmospheric this is and like how whimsical and fun it is and it's also blurbed by Shauna McGuire so I had to pick it up but I'm very excited for this I thought this was a middle grade actually until I went to add it to my Amazon cart and it was like $20 and I'm like this is not a middle grade so this is an adult fantasy I assume and it looks really cute like I said I don't know anything about it except that it's atmospheric and you know I love those books, so had to get my hands on it. Oh, we are gonna have to pick up the pace if we're gonna get this done in a decent amount of time. Okay, here we go. Next up, we have a series that I have purchased. The first book I bought with my own money, and then the th next three I bought with my dad's money. <laughs> and that is, oh gosh, The Murder Bot Diaries by Martha Wells. I read all systems read and I knew I knew I was gonna love the series but I wanted to wait just to make sure but as you can see I bought the rest of the series so I absolutely loved it Murderbot is my favorite so if you don't know Murderbot is a genderless AI robot that hacks into its own system and kind of becomes sentient but like a depressed sentient and it's hilarious and I love them and oh my gosh it's the best thing ever listen I'm so excited to continue with the series okay next up we've got more sci-fi because apparently I'm into sci-fi right now uh <laughs> the next one is The Luminous Dead by who's this by Caitlin Starling this is all I know is that it's queer and that it's like underwater kind of almost like Into the Drowning Deep I've heard that if you liked Into the Drowning Deep that all like this and I loved Into the Droning Deep so I had to pick this up should be interesting and finally four books that I was gifted we have The Weight of the Stars by Kay Ankrum which I just remembered that I've seen this author around on Twitter I can't remember what the author's pronouns are but we're going with they because I'm not quite sure 
Um, this one, I can't remember what it's about, but I know it's sci-fi, and I know that it is a female, female romance, and everybody raves about this on book Twitter, so I'm so excited to read it, and also, like, the spine is so cool. I'm really into it, and the cover is really pretty. I'm excited. The author also has another book. Oh, that Sean McGuire blurbed this, too. I'm on a roll. The author has another book as well that I'm interested in. The Wicker King is also one that I'm interested in. I don't know what it's about, but it looks cool. Like, the cover looks cool, so I'm interested in it. <laughs> Moving right along into the next books. I don't know why I didn't mention this one with the other one, but I also bought Jurassic Park <laughs> because now that... No, I bought this one actually before Tori gifted me the second one. Um, because I took this one off of my wish list so that no one would buy it. Again, I'm pretty sure y'all know what Jurassic Park is about, if not dinosaurs. So, moving on. <laughs> Next, we have The Anomaly and The Possession by Michael Rutger. These are horror slash thriller books that are so much fun. I personally love The Anomaly. Mainly, this is a YouTube channel this um, group of people that have a youtube channel and they go out and try to figure out almost conspiracy theories not conspiracy theories but like try to unearth unanswered questions or answer unanswered questions rather the first one has a lot of indiana jones vibes and it was amazing the second one is more of like a average uh what's it called horror movie there we go. An average horror movie, and it was pretty good. I liked it. Um, it was fun, but it was not as fun as The Anomaly. I will say that. Moving on, I also bought myself The Bone Witch Trilogy by Rin Chepeko. I gave the first one a try last month, the month before. I can't quite remember, but I wasn't a huge fan. I liked it, but I wasn't a huge fan. But with recent things happening on Twitter, I decided I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna retry the series, see how I like it, and I bought the whole trilogy because these covers are stunning. So this is The Bone Witch. Oh, I love that. Uh, the Heart Forger and The Shadow Glass. This series is about a girl who can raise the dead and she's very rare for this and they are obviously feared and shunned and it's interesting. It is interesting. So we'll leave it at that, but I'm excited to have these. They're floppy. Love a good floppy paperback. Next I have The Troop by Nick Cutter. This is a horror novel about a group of Boy Scouts who are camping on this island like they do every year, and a man shows up on this island and he's very emaciated and he's eating literally everything in sight. Things are uncovered, government secrets are uncovered, and it was wonderful. I really liked it. Although if you're interested in this, very very big trigger warning in here for lots of blood, gore, very graphic, but also a very, very two very very graphic animal, animal abuse scenes. So if you don't like that, do not read this. Um, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying I like that, but uh, usually I can make it through stuff like that, but I had a hard time pushing through the scenes in here. It was very graphic. Next, I have Fowlis Fair by Hannah Cabin. This is a Macbeth retelling, and it's about this girl who is sexually assaulted, and there's a bunch of boys that are essentially complicit in this assault, and she decides to take revenge on them and kill them all. And it's absolutely wonderful. I love this book. It's definitely a new favorite of mine. And it's just really powerful. And I, I, I can't say enough good things about it. I did tab it up when I read it. And I just highly recommend it to literally everybody. It's definitely again a powerful story and it it was really good i'm so glad i bought it for myself thank you me for buying that for me next we have the deck of omens by christine lynn herman boy am i getting tired out now but this is the sequel to the the devouring gray and the devouring gray follows a bunch of teenagers who are 
basically the children of the people the children of the founders essentially of or that they are the descendants of the founders of this town and there's a gray thing in the woods and basically when you go in you don't come out and it was really fun and I liked it. It's very mysterious and spooky and I really like the sequel as well. <sighs> the ending, oh my god, was insane. But this one again was a lot of fun and it's the sequel but I'm sure you've heard about the Devar and Grey because I saw it a lot on Twitter when it first came out. So next we have another series, duology rather, and that is this Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. These are such pretty covers, first of all, I love them. They were also on sale on Barnes & Noble, so forgive me, but <laughs> these are, I, I'm not gonna give you a synopsis because I really can't quite remember, but I remember like there's like a boy who's actually a monster and then a girl who's like fighting him, but then they fall in love, I don't know. Um, I'm rereading this for a series that I'm going to be doing like an ongoing like <laughs> very long series over the course of years that I will be doing uh, where I'll be rereading books that I kind of felt meh about when I first read them. Yes, this series was one of them. I will be rereading The Savage Song pretty soon and that will probably be the first video of the series. I'm really excited but I have a feeling I'll really like it the second time around but I had to pick up both just because the covers are really pretty and Floppy paperbacks, baby. All right, speaking of floppy paperbacks, this one I would hope is a floppy paperback because I bought The Entire Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> Felt like it. This I found actually on Mercari. So this was bought, oh boy. This was bought secondhand because your girl was not paying full price. I mean, they're children's books. They weren't that expensive, but I was not paying full price for this. Uh, this, this is the Chronicles of Narnia. I don't know. <laughs> Do people know what that is? I assume, I assume people know what that is. I can't really, it's really hard to describe. It's about these kids that go through a wardrobe and discover another world. There you have it, Narnia. I never read the books. I did see the first movie, I think, but that's like it. I had a video game for my Nintendo when I was like 12 that I won this Nintendo. It came with the game. It was the Prince Caspian game. And I played the shit out of that. And now that I think about it, I never finished the last level. That's gonna bother me for the rest of my life. Okay. Um. Anyway, yeah, I play the shit out of Prince Caspian, and I feel like I would like the series. So we're diving in head first, and I'm excited. <laughs> I better like them, because I bought literally all of them in one book, so. Next, I have Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. I did already read this, and I loved it. This is about a group of older, older gentlemen, and they get their band back together, their group of mercenaries. They have to get their, one of their friend's daughters out of trouble that she's kind of gotten herself into. I had so much fun with this. The characters were all so much fun and funny and it was also serious at times, but I really liked it and you know, you gotta love some good old comedy in your fantasy and that's what I like. So this was a lot of fun and if you kind of like a little bit like of a jokey style fantasy you'll like that one because it's just a bunch of dudes like fighting with swords and then complaining that their knees hurt it's great i loved it next up we have the fifth season by nk jemison this you may have seen on twitter i tried to read this a while back and i immediately dnf'd it i guess because it's, it's told partially in second person which I could not stand at the time but i've since read a couple books that have been had some second person in them and I've gotten used to it and I am really interested in this book so I decided to take another stab at it so I bought myself a copy so that I have no other choice and I'm excited I'm, I really am this is I don't know much about it except that it's dystopian and it's NK Jemisin's most popular book so I'm excited next up we have a book I really don't want to talk about but that is Aurora Burning by J. Christoph and Amy, Co 
it, Amy Kaufman. I don't want to talk about it. Ugh, I did read this already. It was fantastic. If you plan on reading it, unless you hate yourself, I recommend waiting because it literally leaves off in like the middle of a chapter. I'll say that. Like you're going to be looking for the rest of the pages and they're not going to be there because that's what I did. And uh, mm, yeah, it was, it was a great time. I loved it. Um, but yeah, this was really good. I actually really liked it. Uh, as Jacob from Alchemy Reads said, this could top the Illuminate Files. And it could. Just saying. It could. And that, that's, that's the tea. If you don't know what the first book about is about Aurora Burning, it's basically kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy-esque. There's, there's this ragtag team, they have to become an actual team and you know work together and there's like a government conspiracy kind of cover-up thing going on that they have to uncover and it's really good i really like it it's very polarizing though so i just i will say that i can't tell you if you'll like it or not but i really liked it so yeah next i have if it bleeds by stephen king this is stephen king's newest release this is a collection of four short stories i absolutely love this it is easily oof, easily one of my new favorite books of his and my new favorite short story is actually contained in here which is the life of chuck so if you've read that it's my favorite i loved it it was amazing i feel like i'm not gonna go really into it because either you like stephen king or you don't if you don't you're not gonna read it if you do you're probably gonna read it anyway so next i have the southern book Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. This is a kind of thriller. I want to say it's a thriller, but it's not very thrillery until the very end. This is about a group of women who are in this book club and they are like southern stay-at-home moms. It's, you know, a very sexist, racist time in America. Not that it's any different now. But I feel like you know what I mean. This takes place in the 90s, I think. I can't quite remember. It's either like early 90s, late 80s, I think. And it's got a lot of different things going into it. Um, so obviously there's this vampire that they have to slay. And it's it talks a lot about... It doesn't talk necessarily about racism and sexism. But it shines a light on it. And it's like, hey notice this like this is a thing <laughs> fix it and <laughs> it's really good i really liked it personally um i know that it wasn't really vampire -y enough for some people so if you're thinking it's like very vampire -y, it's not it's very like southern mom southern hospitality kind of thing in the beginning but then it then it really gets into thrillers but i really liked it i liked the you know take on it where it's not usually where it's usually like teenagers dealing with a vampire but it's like southern moms i thought that was kind of funny and unique and i personally i thought it was fun I've got three books left and they are all from book of the month i figured i'd mention them all at once so that i can also mention that i have my book of the month link down below always and forever at least until i'm no longer an affiliate <laughs> last month my pick was valentine by elizabeth west Wetmore. I always think it's Westmore, but it's Wetmore. This is another like southern kind of story. It's not southern, it's like western. No, it's southern, it's in Texas. <laughs> kind of both. Um, but so this takes place in Texas and it, this one is shining a light on the sexual assaults that happen or rather the attacks on women that rise with the oil industry and you know where they set roots down and I think it was really interesting to read about I did give this one five stars I thought it was amazing but it's really aggravating it's very it can be triggering it's it was really eye-opening like I've, I've never thought about this before which I love when books make me think about things that I never realized and the next two I got this month and I'm currently reading one I haven't read the other but the first one is Into Thin Air by John Crick or Krakor? I don't know. But this dude apparently climbed Mount Everest with a bunch of people and 
almost everybody died but him. I can't quite remember, but this is just his story of what happened. I was kind of interested in it. It's slow going for me because it's kind of dense, but it's interesting. And for whatever reason, I'm very interested in Everest lately. So I figured I'd pick this up. And the cover is also super pretty. And I really, I really like that. Look, the little thing is pink. It's cute. I like it. I don't know. And finally, we have The Book of Longings by Sue Monk Kid. This is a mm, retelling, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Historical fiction is classified as historical fiction. But this is basically what would have happened if Jesus married a feminist. I don't know anything else about it, but I'm like, sold. Uh, send me my book. <laughs> like, head to box, you know? Uh, that's all I know about it. It sounds really interesting. The cover's super pretty, and it was, I mean, I had a credit, so it was kind of free. I don't know. But yeah, okay, that is it for this video. If you stayed this long, holy cow, you're amazing. If you stayed this long, I kind of want to know. So if you stayed this long, leave a little yellow heart down in the comments so I know you stayed this long and, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, because I'm curious to see how many people actually will watch this entire thing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's It's been fun, it's been real, hasn't been real fun. <sighs> Got a lot of books in front of me right now. Um, I'm tired, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>